Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Happy November. It's November 1st and this is a kickoff video to my November challenge which is to carry a fixed blade every day for the whole month. Um, I carry a fixed blade once in a great while for a day or two and then I stop. Um, yeah, something I just don't do on a regular basis at all. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to do carry a fixed blade every single day and try to use that instead of my pocket knife, my folder, which I'm still going to carry a folder most likely. But I'm going to try to solely use the fixed blade for everything and see how it works out, see how I like it. Now I got, I picked out five different knives that I'm going to carry this month. I may carry all of them. I may carry three of them. I don't know. It depends. But the goal is to carry a fixed blade every single day as my EDC and use it for everything that I can. And maybe test them out a little bit on, you know, different things. But yeah, start out. Today it's going to be the TOPS CAT, C-A-T, which stands for Covert Anti-Terrorism. Um, I just got this. I've been carrying for a couple of days actually already and I'm digging it. Um, comes in this nice Kydex sheath right out of the box. A spring steel clip that rotates so you can carry it horizontal, vertical, 45, however you want to carry it. I've been carrying it horizontal which I'm going to carry most of these knives the same way. Right in the front kind of appendix style. The clip would be just to the left of my belt buckle and I can just pull it out, get it back in and yeah so far this is pretty good. Um, yeah like I said nice sheath right out of the box. Kydex taco style made. Freaking nice everything's even the knife i find pretty awesome i'm glad i got this one um what you got is a 3.25 inch 1095 carbon steel blade drop point it's got their black traction coating on it and yeah seems like a pretty thick blade but it's only 0 0.16 so not bad got a high saber grind um, it's not super thin behind the edge I mean you can feel it it's pretty thick um, rugged obviously it's full tang got cool G10 handles on it black and red they're milled out with these little divots they call Rocky Mountain bullseye pattern which adds good grip um, plus you got a thumb ramp with some good jimping up here it's locked in all four fingers on this um, does have a lanyard hole but man it just the ergos on this is just excellent it's kind of a tall handle it just fits my hand good I really like it um, yeah handles four inches long total overall length of this is seven something inches it is one two three four five six seven about seven and a quarter inches so four inch handle 3.25 inch blade seven and a quarter if I could do math but yeah so far I am digging this Get a closer look at it down the back side. I love the scales, the G10 on this. And th this side, you can see the writing on here, bottle number. If you look right here, I've already screwed up the coating. I'll tell that story. Um, another time, but yeah, awesome knife, 
And again, here's the sheath. Excellent sheath right out of the box. Clip works excellent. Everything works excellent. Snaps in. There's no way it's coming out, no rattling. So I'm starting out with this. I don't know how... This may be the only one I carry. I don't know. Um, next one I most likely will carry because I love it. This is the SE Azula. This is the Azula 1, if you will, the original with a shorter handle. Right now I got the stock sheath and clip set up horizontal. Um, I have carried this. I've removed the clip. I have carried it as a neck knife several times but i do have a new sheath coming from armadus carry solutions so i can't wait to try that out but yeah what i mean what do i have to say about the azula most people know it's an awesome knife 6.25 inches overall 2.63 inch 1095 steel blade i don't know if i even said the steel and the tops it's 1095 carbon steel, same as the Azula. Um, this has their powder coating finish on it. And it's got some scuffs and stuff, scratches over time, holding up pretty good. Um, I do have the black micarta handles on there. Blade thickness of this is a little thinner than the tops, 0 0.15, not much. Um, yeah, I mean, what can you say about the Zula? It's only, you know, a three and a half finger grip. My finger kind of hangs on to the lanyard hole loop there. But yeah, awesome little knife. So, like I said, <clears throat> right now I have the stock sheath that came with it. Um, I'll be switching this out to the new one when it comes. Trying that out, so... Be testing that but yeah here's the original stock sheath really nothing wrong with it um, the only thing I don't like is every time I pull it out I have a little black black mark right here on the blade and a bevel doesn't seem to dull the knife at all but here's the Azula I'd like to get the Azula too, someday with longer handle, just because, like I said, I kind of wrap around that um, lanyard hole, which kind of makes my hand feel cramped in there, um, but not bad. Like I said, I've carried this quite a bit. I've used it more than I've carried it, actually, but yeah, so this will be one one of the knives especially after I get the new sheath for it to try that out um, next one is fairly new <clears throat> and it is the Cold Steel Pendleton Mini Hunter and comes with this molded plastic sheath vertical carry um, this thing it works okay retention's not great but I absolutely hate this strap because you try and get it in sometimes you get part of it under the knife you got fish round fumble around this thing's flimsy um, get it snapped back upright kind of pain in the butt um, I'm losing dexterity in my fingers feeling in my fingers so that's that just drives me nuts so i have a sheath coming for this also um from rk customs so i'm waiting for that to come that'll be set up for horizontal carry the the zula the zula sheath is coming from armadus so i'm getting two different sheaths from two different places to test out but yeah this is kind of a cool little knife. I like it. Um, <clears throat> six, 6.625 inches overall. 
got three inch, three inch OS 10A stainless steel blade. Um, I'm excited to really try out the OS 10A. I hear a lot of good things about it. Drop point, dang near a spur point. Sand finish, blade is only 0.11 inches. And it looks a lot beefier than that. Um, but yeah, has a Cray X handle molded over it, the kind of rubbery handle, which feels great. Um, again, this is like a three and a half finger grip. Three fingers right there, and my pinky kind of hooks right on the, the end here. Really comfortable to use. Um, I can get all four fingers on there, cramping them in, you know. I really want to power cut through something, but normally that's pretty good. Easy, I can reach the tip, do fine utility cuts. But yeah, I can't wait to get the new sheath, try that out. Um, the Mini Pendleton Hunter is made in Taiwan. The SC and the Tops uh, obviously made in the USA. If I didn't say that, but yeah, there's a look at the stock sheath, there's Secure X sheath. Um, it's not that bad, I just, I don't like it. This part, I just hate fumbling, fumbling around with it. And the retention, it's pretty secure, um, but I think it could be better. Here's a knife, I'm shaking the holy heck out of the camera. But yeah, awesome little knife. I don't know, 40 bucks or something. Like I said, can't wait to try the OS 10A steel out. Um, I know this thing. But yeah, that'll definitely be one of the knives I carry, especially after I get the new sheath. Um, next one is a cool knife I've carried, actually, I, I've probably carried the Azula the most, but this would be a close second, and it's the Artisan Sea Snake, Mike Emler design, um, comes with a nice Kydex sheath, I added these soft loops to carry it on my belt, otherwise, it was kind of designed as a neck knife, and I tried it. It works pretty good. Um, sheath is excellent. Got just a little bit of rattle. <clears throat> Got a nice little thumb ramp, easy to deploy. Um, yeah, sheath is pretty good. This thing is a little slicer. Check it out. Um, 6.75 inches long. 3.125 inch blade made out of AR RPM9, which is Artisan's um, proprietary Terry steel. And you can see, I, I still got, there's still gunk on there, like tape residue. Um, Warren Cliff blade, that's awesome. Got a pretty dainty tip. A humongous finger trial, and you know, I got kind of fat fingers. My finger fits in there excellent. You can choke up, do utility cuts out with this thing. I, I like a Warren Cliff blade, it's pretty thin um, 0 0.11. So, set so, you know. So this is about as thick as the Mini Pendleton and my calipers are dead. The Sea Snake, I can tell is thinner, but <clears throat> so I have carried this quite a bit. I like it. This will be an easy, easy one to carry around. Now it is a thinner, seems like a thinner blade, thinner tip. So I may carry a thicker, you know, thicker bladed pocket knife to go with it. But yeah, check out the sheath. Like I said, I, 
I added these. They work good. Um, but yeah, this right out of the box, this is a good sheath. Now it comes intended to be a neck knife, but I, I once in a while again, like <clears throat> like um fixed blade. Once in a while I'll carry a neck knife and when I tried this it worked pretty good because it's thin, low profile. But yeah, check the knife out over here. It's hard to get good lighting, but this is a pretty awesome knife. I do like it. Like I said, it's a Mike Emler design, AR RPM9, which the few knives I have in that steel seem they seem pretty good. But yeah, nice. Nice ergos, thin handle, it's pretty thin. I don't know the thickness of the handle, uh, three eighths of an inch, you know. So, low profile, whether it's on your belt or you know, neck knife. But yeah, this will definitely be most likely one I carry. And the third one is kind of weird, <clears throat> but I like it. And I have carried it. It is the Outdoor Edge La Duck. Um, comes in this motor plastic sheath, rotating clip, awesome clip. It works great. Haven't had no issues with it. Um, it moves maybe the only thing a little bit too freely. It's got this little retention clip on the thing, so you can pop that out of the way or not. You can just pop it out, and yeah, here's the knife. Now, it's called the Leduck, and if you look at the handle, it looks like a duck's head, but that's pretty cool. Nice, you know, got a real thin handle, but three fingers fit in there perfect. My pinky wraps right around the duck bill or whatever. Good grip. Good jumping on the back of the blade. Nice little drop. Well, I think they call it a clip point. But similar to, to me, it's a drop point. Because it does drop. I mean, it drops as much as the, the Zula, which they say is a drop point. So, there's that. But... This one's hollow ground. Um, it's not real thick. I'm not sure how thick it is. Um, the hollow ground grind is pretty slicey. It's got a pretty dainty tip on it. But what you got here is a two and a half inch blade, black stone wash, hollow ground. Steel is 8CR 14 MOV says right on the blade um this is made in china also same as the artisan sea snake it's got what do they call it t tpr molded handle which is kind of rubbery feeling not as soft as the mini pendleton but it's pretty grippy, it's comfortable. Um, yeah, this thing carries, this actually is a cool knife. And I don't know, it was like 30 some bucks. But yeah, you can just flip that down and deploy it. Or like I showed, you can just pop it loose, pull it out. So, like, like I said, I've carried this quite a bit. Um, this can also be used as a neck knife. You can unscrew the clip. And not bad. Wouldn't make a bad neck knife. I have not tried it. I haven't removed the clip. But yeah, check this thing out over here. And the front it says Le Duck. Here's that clip. Retaining clip. I don't mind that. Took a little getting used to. And the clip that says Outdoor Edge. 
Like I said, this rotates so you can carry it any configuration you want. Vertical, horizontal, a 45. Okay, okay, sheaf. Um, here's the knife. Black stone wash finish. I like that. Handle. It's weird looking, but it works. Right there. You can see 8CR 14MOV. What else does it say? It says Leduc. Doesn't say China anywhere. But that's where it's made. And yeah. Check the jimping out. One of the best. The best jimping on any of these knives. Few of them don't even have jimping. But yeah. Guess that's it. Um, these are probably the knives I'm going to carry this month. Whether I make it through all five, I don't know. Definitely, this is going to be a one I carry because I've been carrying it anyways. Tops Cat. Then the Essie Azula, especially after I get the new sheath. Same thing with the Mini Pendleton Hunter. Can't wait to get the sheath for that one. For horizontal carry kydex um it's this thing i hate this just hate it and the good old sea snake awesome knife um pretty thin slicey knife works good for i've i've cut heavy plastic with this the walls corrugated plastic to a plastic shed I cut that with this and I've stropped it and that's it man this thing's still sharp cardboard it slice slices right through and I got it I'm gonna try to carry all fives I got I gotta carry this Leduc again as it is a cool knife but I guess that's it videos longer than I wanted as usual but yeah this is a kick off my November challenge of carrying a fixed plate every day. And I'll stop in, you know, I'll do a video updating on how this is work and how they're working, which ones I carry when I change change out to a different one. The new sheaves, so I'll, I'll show you guys those too. And I guess that's it. Do the usual like, comment, subscribe, wherever they pop up on the screen now. This camera angle and until next video bye